Any parent would cry at their child's funeral, but this mother took her son out of the coffin during the funeral and left everyone in shock. The reason for her bizarre behavior will make you cry. Becky was a university student with a natural talent for film. Though she enjoyed analyzing and appreciating movies, her real passion lay in creating them herself. Her dedication to her studies often kept her from going out much, but she still managed to make a few friends in her dormitory. One of her dorm neighbors, Duke, caught her eye. He was incredibly handsome and a star athlete, the captain of the football team. Duke was a popular figure on campus, adored by not just football fans, but everyone who knew him. Despite their vastly different lifestyles, Becky never considered herself a match for someone like Duke. However, unbeknownst to her, Duke felt the same way. To Duke, Becky stood out. Becky was a quiet and introspective young woman with an air of mystery about her. Her blonde hair, though striking, was often tied back in a messy bun, and her porcelain skin seemed to glow in the light. She had a way of carrying herself with quiet confidence, even as she spent long hours poring over her screenplay in the corner of her room. Her focus and dedication to her work were apparent to anyone who took the time to observe her, and Duke couldn't help but be drawn to her magnetic energy. One day, Duke approached Becky and asked her out on a date, to which she agreed. Much to their surprise, they hit it off immediately. Duke was a movie buff as well, so they had a lot to talk about. Shortly after, Becky and Duke made their relationship official. Her newfound romance made Becky quite popular amongst her peers. When it came time for Becky to create her first student film project, she was astonished to find a long queue of aspiring actors waiting outside the casting room to audition for the roles she had written. Duke had spread the word about her project all over campus, and news of it had quickly spread. He continuously showed his love for Becky through acts of kindness and service. Becky and Duke were the epitome of an ideal couple, and Becky felt incredibly fortunate to have such a supportive partner. While she knew she wanted to spend her life with him, she decided to let their relationship evolve naturally and take things slowly. However, fate had other plans in store for them, which would soon alter the trajectory of their lives. Becky began experiencing intense bouts of nausea every morning sometimes running out of class to vomit in the restroom. After several days of enduring this misery, she visited the campus nurse who asked, Do you think you might be pregnant? It turned out that Becky was, in fact, carrying Duke's child. Despite the challenges of finishing university and starting their careers with a baby on the way, Becky and Duke were determined to make it work. They were deeply in love and had always wanted to start a family at some point, so they were ready to face the obstacles together. With the birth of their son Max, Becky and Duke faced a whole new set of challenges and joys. Despite being parents and students simultaneously, they worked tirelessly to strike a balance and ensure that Max had the best possible life. As Max grew older, he became the focal point of their world, and they cherished every moment they spent with him, watching him develop and learn new things. However, when Max turned four, he began to show signs of illness. At first, they thought it was a minor ailment, but as the symptoms persisted, they took him to the hospital. After extensive testing, they received the crushing news that Max had a chronic illness that would shorten his life considerably. Becky and Duke were devastated. They felt helpless and scared as they tried to navigate the challenges of Max's illness. They spent long hours at the hospital, seeking the best medical care. As Max's condition worsened, Becky and Duke faced the heartbreaking reality that their time with him was limited. They were forced to navigate a labyrinth of medical treatments and procedures, all the while knowing that they could only do so much to ease their son's pain. Their lives became consumed with doctor's appointments, hospital stays, and medication schedules. Despite the immense strain on their relationship and emotional well-being, Becky and Duke remained committed to giving Max the best possible life. They poured their hearts and souls into creating a happy and fulfilling existence for him, filling it with love, laughter, and adventures. However, the knowledge that their time together was finite 
hung over them like a dark cloud, a constant reminder that they would eventually have to say goodbye to their beloved son. Despite their best efforts, Mark's condition continued to deteriorate over time. Becky and Duke tried everything they could to prolong his life, seeking out new treatments and therapies, but ultimately, they were unable to stop the progression of his illness. After a long and difficult battle, Max passed away surrounded by his loved ones. The pain of his loss was unbearable, and Becky and Duke struggled to come to terms with the fact that their beloved son was gone. At the funeral, Becky was inconsolable. She clung to Duke, desperate for comfort and support as they said goodbye to their son. But as she gazed down at Max's small casket, she couldn't help but think of her own past. As a child, Becky had a twin brother named Max who suffered from the same chronic illness that claimed their son's life. Growing up, Becky had always felt a sense of guilt and a survivor's remorse as she watched her brother's health decline while hers remained intact. When she became pregnant with Duke's child, she felt a sense of hope and renewal, as if she could somehow make things right by giving her son the same name as her late brother. But now, as she watched her son's funeral, Becky felt a crushing sense of grief and despair. She had been so focused on caring for Max and supporting Duke that she had kept her own feelings and memories locked away. Now, as she grappled with the loss of her son, she couldn't help but feel the weight of her own history and trauma. Becky and Duke stood side by side, staring at the small casket that held their son, Max. It was the hardest thing they had ever experienced in their lives. The funeral was supposed to provide them with closure, but instead, it felt like they were opening up old wounds that could never truly heal. Becky was inconsolable. Tears streamed down her face and she clung to Duke as if he was the only thing keeping her from falling apart completely. Duke, too, was struggling to hold it together. He didn't know how to console Becky, and his own grief was too much to bear. When it was time to lower the casket into the ground, Becky made a scene. She begged to see her son one last time, to say goodbye properly. The people around them tried to calm her down, but she was beyond reason. Eventually, they opened the casket, and Becky's sobs grew louder, but what she did next took everyone by surprise. Becky lifted her son's lifeless body out of the casket and held him in her arms, crying, and saying her goodbyes to him. Duke watched in shock as Becky clung to their son, rocking him back and forth as if he was still alive. It was a heartbreaking sight, and Duke's own tears began to flow. Becky whispered to Max, telling him that he was safe now that he was up in heaven with her twin brother, where they could both rest in peace. She held him tightly as if she was trying to protect him from any harm, even in death. Everyone around them was silent, unsure of what to do. They watched as Becky finally placed Max back into the casket, her eyes never leaving his small face. As they began to lower the casket again, Becky clutched Duke's hand tightly. She knew that she would never fully heal from this loss but she also knew that Duke would always be there to support her. Together, they walked away from the gravesite, Becky's hand still tightly wrapped around Duke's. They knew that life would never be the same again, but they were determined to keep moving forward, to honor Max's memory and cherish the time they had together. Even though they were separated in the physical realm, he always felt close in their hearts. Let us know what you think of this heartbreaking story in the comments below.